Hi, in this video we're going to look at the options available to you through the View menu for Google Sheets. So to start with, when you click View, um, there'll be a couple of options you should be familiar with. One is the Freeze Pane. Uh, in Microsoft Excel this is in a different area, but it works fundamentally the same. Now if I can, it depends on where I'm clicked. Depending on the settings I want to make, it may matter where I'm clicked. So let's look at a couple of options. I will be clicked in cell uh, E3. So if I say view freeze, I can say up to current row because I'm in three and it'll say right there that I'm in three or if I wanted to freeze columns it would say column E. When I choose that you can see that there's a line underneath and that the rest of the page scrolls but the first three lines don't. Likewise if I had chosen column E and let's let's just do that view freeze column e you can see that now the first three are frozen because i put that on but if i move to the right all well, this is protected sheet the same will happen here these will disappear underneath okay if you want to take those things off you just go and say no rows sorry no columns Take those right off. Um, you can also just freeze the first row or the first two rows, the first column or the uh, first two columns. So let's freeze first row. You can see how that works. Very nice. And then if you want to remove it, of course, you just go back to no rows and no columns as we did previously. Next option is to view grid lines. So you can see these light lines are here. Some people prefer to see little boxes so they can see exactly where the data is. And you can toggle that off if you don't want it. Uh, there's an option for protected ranges. A protected range is an area that you designate that either can't be edited by someone else or where a warning pops up if they try to edit it. So data, things like formulas that you don't expect would be changed, you can make those protected areas now uh, or protected ranges. Now, that being said, I think the functionality of this has changed. It used to be when you designated something as a protected range, and if you had that checked, you would see uh, a checker. You'd see something different about that cell that would indicate that it was protected. I'm not seeing that here, even though I do have several ranges. Let me come here and say uh, protected sheets. You can see that I do have two ranges on here, A2 to A11 which is this section, and yet it's not showing me um, anything different about those. So that's, I believe, a functionality that's changed. Also, I can choose to show my formula bar, which is right here. Let me jump down. See, it's got an actual formula in it, but it may also just have data in it. I don't have to see this formula bar if I don't want, so I can turn that off and save a little space. Um, generally, it's on. I can also choose to show formulas. So if I click that, you can see that I'm now seeing the actual formula for average that's in this cell as opposed to the values it generates, which if you uncheck it, that's what happens. It performs the calculation for you. Uh, there's a hidden sheet option. You can see that I only have one sheet here, but in actuality I have two. I have this sheet two um, that I've been hiding from you. So if I click that, sheet two now appears even though there's nothing in it if i want to hide it i can actually do that from the tab down here hide sheet so uh can be very very useful if you've got a lot of extra information or um, sheets that are supplying other sheets with information that you don't feel need to be viewed you can hide them down there make your um, make your spreadsheet a little more organized a little more uh, a little easier to use Okay, there's something called compact controls. If I go to compact controls, what you'll notice is that I just lose the top of my menu. I can always get that back here. So I lost my uh, main menu. Another method is to use that. And the last option under view is to go full screen. And that's just going to hide even more, even more of my menu system, etc. So if I hit escape, I can get everything back. Um, 
I don't tend to use those two modes very much, but there may, there may come a time where you, you want to use them. I guess it depends on your application. And that really covers all the options available unto, to you under the View menu in Google Sheets.